a set of things that I can fall to get strength Pour this up on the sea, pour this up on the sea Pour this up on the sea, pour this up on the sea Hello, welcome. Hey, there's no Blu-ray. What's going on? I just want a couple of seconds of your time to ask you if you please subscribe. I know a lot of people watch my videos and that's very much appreciated. I'd really like it's a few more people to actually subscribe, maybe tell a friend about the channel and help me out a little bit. I've got a very small channel. I don't really make any money or anything, but hey, maybe if enough of you subscribe and tell other people, I can get my videos monetized by YouTube. You never know and it would really help me out. And you see these little guys, maybe every once in a while, if you like a video, give me a little thumbs up. And if you really like my stuff, maybe go over to Spotify and check out my podcast, which is called Portless Podcasting. And I do some other stuff on there, comedy sort of stuff, and talk about films and videos and games and anything I can shake my nerdy stick at, really. Anyway, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Please subscribe. Only costs you a couple of seconds. It don't cost you any money, and I'd really appreciate it. Now, from me to him, bye. Hello, it's X-Files, the complete series, seasons 1 to 11. Now this box here is a bit of an odd one. Um, I've already had it before. Would I say it's a good box set? <laughs> Not really, but is it a good box set? Yeah, it's pretty good. Now what I mean by that is the seasons one to nine box set that came out before that, and I'll find something to show you of that one, I had before, one to nine. They were beautifully presented. They were in a really nice box. It had beautiful artwork for every individual season, sort of airbrushed and painted and looked really amazing. And each one had individual packaging and it was very nicely put together. The kind of thing you want from a box set, especially for a, a beloved a, a season like X-Files, a massive fan of the, the series. So, you know, I really liked that. Um, obviously it was only one to nine. So when I heard this was coming out, this was like a couple of years ago now, um, I was very excited. I thought, oh, wow, I wonder what they're going to do this time. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait. And then now we've been there all seasons, 1 to 11, because, you know, I had seasons 1 to 9 in this beautiful box set, but I had to have seasons 10, or the event series, and season 11 separately. So I thought, well, it's a no-brainer. So I went and sold my 1 to 9 box set, which is now ridiculously priced online. And if you can find one cheap, then you're, you're doing really well. Um, although, in saying that, so is this one. Um, and then it turned up, and what I got was this. Now, this is a bit of a Frankenstein's monster. This is, uh, hmm, yeah, we've got new commission artwork for the cover there. Okay, we've got some older characters. Yep, that's new. All right, that's great. And we've got that. That's nice. That's fine. The colour scheme's okay. But what you'll find when we get into this is, well, you shall see when we get into it. Uh, let's just say they didn't put the love, care and attention into this one as much as they did the previous one. So what I did is I ended up selling it for a reasonable price, more than I'd sold my uh, my original one for. So I got the money back and I thought, OK, what I'll do is I'll buy it back because I know a company that had it again. And if you're getting bored of this, skip forward, obviously, if you're only interested in the box, which I'm sure you are. And I bought it. And guess what turned up? Even though I'd ordered the one to nine one, this turned up again. <laughs> So this is the third time I've had this thing. And yes, of course, I sold it again. So why have you got it again, you ask? Well, that's because now, for some reason, and I believe it's something to do with the discs in the 1 to 9 one, apparently there was something to do with the transfer that wasn't particularly good. This is the best way to own them. Apparently, they're just the transfers on these are the best that they've looked. So this is the best box set to have to get all one to nine and the best way they're looking, but the worst box set out of the two when it comes to the packaging and the way it looks. So enough waffle from me. If that interests you, now you know. If it doesn't, then okay. It is region B, so that's not gonna be too good unless you've got a region three Blu-ray player in the Americas or whatnot. It's not gonna work for you. I got this from a UK company, HMV, as you can see there. They don't have it in stock at the moment. It's one of those ones, if you order it, they may be able to get you one. If not, this has actually gone up in price online as well. But you'll have to make the decision on that when you see what is inside. Because when you see what is inside, you may go, oh no. Because whoever put this together, oh my God. Anyway, here we go. Special features, audio commentary on selected episodes, deleted scenes, documentaries, featurettes, special effects sequences, interviews with Chris Carter and cast, gag reels, implied in memories, 25 years of the X-Files. All the stuff that's in the other box set, nothing more, I don't think, for this other than the extras that are appearing on seasons 
the event series and season 11, which is really 10 and 11. So let's have a look inside and oh, you're gonna be so entertained by what is inside. Oh, what have they done, you may ask? What great artwork and design have they added? How are the discs housed? Hmm, all these questions will be answered and many more. Right, okay, so you've seen the box. Oh, a little bit of a dent there. <laughs> oh, well. So there you go. So now you open it up and what we get inside are two big bricks with exactly the same artwork that's on there. No effort made there, just the same. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter, Matt. What does it matter? It's only a bloody box. Yes, I know it's only a box and I get it. And they're all written on the back, what they are. Seasons one, two, three, yeah, a little bit of detail on them. Not too bad, okay, that's all, that's okay. But wait till you get inside these bricks. Because what they've done is they've just, as you can see straight away, they're falling out. And that's season three that's falling out there, you see. Because season three, that's right, is behind the disc for season one. But how could it be behind there? Well, that's season two, sorry. Because that's, because what they've done, I mean, this one's not even in the right way round. You know, there's no effort has been made on these at all. I mean, that might, that's probably just fallen out from there. And as you can see straight away as I open it, herein lies the problem. Here is where there's been no care given. But therein lies the confusion, you see, because what they've done is they've just housed them all on top of each other. Horrible set, which, as you can see, is just a spool with just discs upon discs, all on top of each other, in these horrible plastic boxes. There you go, awful design, all falling out, all over the place. And much, I mean, that happened on the way here. But as you can see, the design is, we just whack all the discs on these spools, we'll do it as cheap as possible, We'll stick them all in the box and we'll whack them all on top of each other. And we'll look at the other one. It's the same situation here. Look, they're all falling out. Again, no care, no love, no attention. And as you can see, there you go again. They're just all stacked all on top of each other. Yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little idea of some of the other box sets that have come out in the past, which, you know, clearly they've made the you effort. You want them to care, just like you care. And if you put your money down for these things, you want that effort to be made. The point is, let's say I want to watch disc one. I finished disc one. Now I want to put disc two in. Now I have to lift up disc two with disc three underneath. Now I'm going to put disc one underneath. I've got to take two discs out or I've got to take the whole stack out every single time I want to watch it. It's, it's pathetic. I had a lot of these myself over years, you know, on VHS, especially the Forensic Evidence box set, which was really interesting. You'd have to buy the VHS tapes individually and put them into the plastic case that you bought. I mean, I'm not saying I want something as elaborate as that, but they clearly made the effort in the past, which they're not making now. The new one is a joke. You're getting the discs. Yes, of course you are, but you're not getting any effort made, any new artwork, and more importantly, getting the discs in and out turns into a chore every time you want to watch the season. It's just not on for the consumer, and that's just the way they, that's the way they see you. Anyway, <laughs> rant over. So, yeah, if you want the actual series and you want the discs, then yeah, I suppose this is a cheaper alternative and at least you get them all and all the extras are there and they look good. But if you're expecting any kind of good quality love, care and attention from Disney Stroke Fox, then look elsewhere. I'd get the previous one, the one to nine box set, which is beautiful because this is, yeah, this is lacking in all senses of the word. But again, if you want the episodes to watch and you want them looking the best they can, this is your option if you don't mind the infuriating way it's been put together. Because as far as, as far as I'm concerned, that is atrocious. This reminds me of the awful Sopranos box set that was in cardboard where all the discs fell through the, the, the uh, case or the wire. There were two versions of the wire box set, DVD. One of them was awful, one of them was okay. So there you go. Just a little bit of information for you. Again... I'll put them all together in the right boxes and stuff, and I'll look after them. They won't be falling out all over the place. But it's going to be a pain in the ass every time I try and get a disc out of there. Hopefully, now you've got that information, you can make a more informed choice. Bye.